Hey guys, what's up? Stark here. Today I'm going to go over key correction. And what I mean by that is a common thing I see with just footage that's shot on, I don't know, like let's say your cell phone. The, I found this image of this woman and I downloaded it, but I actually compressed it more just to show you how effective this is. And the great thing about it is if you can see her sweater is like heathered. And this is where you'll see it a lot, like this, the problem I'm about to show. And also the, you'll see it a lot in like dark clothing, okay? Now, just to get through this, this color is in 422. All you need to know is that the numbers basically represent the color information per channel. So if we go to the red, you're going to see that it's noisy. The blue is going to be noisy. It's always the noisiest. And then the green you're going to notice is the best looking one. And the reason the green is the best looking one is because our eyes are most sensitive to green. Meaning if we start messing around with the green channel, we start like taking information away, it's going to be super noticeable to us. So because we're not, so because we're not as sensitive to red and blue, what will happen is that we don't really notice it. So I'm going to actually use key light. I just, I prefer it. So let's just pull out key light and we'll just do a simple key. And just kind of, I always like to do this, just put the alpha and we'll just kind of play it by ear for now. And I should probably start by selecting an area close to her, which is always a good idea. I could already see what the issue is, but I'm not going to point it out. And what I do is I always go to screen mat because this one doesn't lie. So let's just pull something up to like 140, something like that, just to get rid of most of it. And then we could leave this guy alone. And then the screen mat's usually where I kind of dial it in the most. And you don't really want to go over 24, I think. I don't remember where I learned that, but I learned it somewhere. And it kind of is a good rule of thumb. So we'll just do this. And then we're going to get a key. So maybe eh, closer to 50, I think. Probably good. We could probably dial that back anyways. And then we'll go back to our final result. Now this probably looks like fantastic too, and we'll just go in here. And you're gonna notice on her hair where it's kind of clamped a lot, but I wanna point out what the issue is that you have probably encountered. And just for this, ignore her nails because her nails are green. Totally different thing, not a big deal. But I want you to look right here, okay? Look at these headphones. And I put a marker here because this is just like a good area I found overall. You'll see all this noise happening, okay? And the reason why is because even though it's a solid mat, we took the green information out of it and it's showing up to our eyes as noise. Okay, so now what we're gonna do to fix this problem, which from far away it doesn't look like it is, but we're gonna be compressing it again, so we don't want it. All we're gonna do is actually duplicate this guy, we're gonna call it Matt, and yours probably will say no track Matt because I just did this already. We're just gonna change this to alpha Matt. On the beauty, we're gonna delete this and let me go to the frame. Let's zoom in and let's turn off the key light so that they're not the exact same. Now you're gonna see that we're gonna have this green spill, okay? But we're not gonna have that issue here and Green spill, super easy to get rid of because what we could do is just pre-comp this and we'll just call this keyed and then we'll just do advanced spill suppressor. It's gonna probably be too much because we still want some light in there and probably around like 39%. A little trick is to go into here, uh, hue saturation, We'll just go to greens and then we could turn this down a bit because we, we still want the light, you know, and you don't want to suck all of it out because then it kind of looks unnatural, but just a bit there. And then you could even, and then you add some light route to it and you're all good to go. So isn't this cool? So you have the pristine, your original shot, and then you could actually, now that you have the alpha, the background's red just because it's a good contrasting color, but now you could edit on your, technically it's your original footage, it's just cut out perfectly. So there we go, you can see it in the headphones especially. So that's all guys, super simple and it'll make a huge impact on your work.